Santa Claus, Christmas trees, and Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol. Tonight, Dave Scott takes us to the Lyceum Theater for a new look at an old classic. <laughs> Rep's 18th uh, annual edition of Christmas Carol that they've been producing for 18 years and uh, just so happens it's the 150th anniversary of the Dickens classic and last year they decided to do uh, my version, a gospel version, uh, which was more like an adaptation last year and an experiment uh, to see if we could pull it off. What director Osiandi Baruti has pulled off is nothing short of a miracle. Eleven actors play 45 different roles, all updated for modern times. It's the, the telling of it from a, a gospel or a urban point of view, where the people in the neighborhood are trying to move screw to change his spirit. And change it does, thanks to the addition of a full gospel choir. Gospel just means good news. So all I did was to bring the good news through gospel into Dickens through my music. It wasn't too hard. No matter what version of A Christmas Carol the Lyceum presents, one thing always stays the same every year, Tiny Tim. And of course, that is played this year by Carl Overstreet. He's 13. And Carl, you've got Tiny Tim down. Do you think you can teach uh, me to play him? Well, okay, first you start off with a um, bow tie like you have. <laughs> okay, and um, then what you do is you're going to take the crutch. Okay. Okay. Got it. You're going to bend this leg in bend towards in. the other leg, okay? Yeah. Foot up, just Foot like up. you have it. Yeah. Um, look towards the sky, heavens, spiritual. Yeah. Look homely, just like you look, okay? <laughs> and, uh, not how you look. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. and then just walk. And there you have it, Tiny Tim. But Dave in his place, didn't he? <laughs> As they say, bah humbug. <laughs> <laughs>